In this video, I'll show you how to set up parental controls on an iPhone. If you find this guide useful, please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. The first thing you need to do to set up parental controls on an iPhone is to go and open up the settings app just like so. Then what you need to do is scroll down and look for the screen time settings and go and tap on it. Now, if you haven't already got screen time turned on, then what you need to do is press on turn on screen time. So as you can see, we can then go and tap on turn on screen time like this, and you can go and choose if you want to go um, and say this is my iPhone or this is my child's iPhone. As you can see, it says screen time for a child's iPhone, it lets you set up more additional parental controls. So in this case, you probably want to go and set it up as your child's iPhone. So tap, this is my child's iPhone. Now, as you can see, you can now go and choose the age of the child, and this is gonna go and help you decide um, what content the child can access. So in this case, um, you know, let's just go do 15 to 16, for example. And then if you scroll down, you can then go and customize these as well. This is just like a broad sort of setting to go and help give an idea and rough estimate. And as you can see, you can go and change all of these to whatever you would like. For example, you go and make web content to allowed websites only and things like that. Then what you can do is go press and turn on restrictions like so, and you can also go and set up screen time as well. So that's gonna be up to you, I'll set it up for now. Um, and then you can also go and set app and website limits as well. So this is sort of the amount of time you can go and spend on things. So then you can go and set, so then you can go and tap on time amount and press set like this, and then you can go and choose the amount. We can say 10 minutes, for example, and then press set app limit. Then what you need to do is go and create a screen time passcode. And this passcode will be needed every time you go and um, change a setting just to go and stop the child going and changing it. So in this case, I'll just go and enter a passcode now, just like that, and I have to re-enter it again. Make sure that it's different from the device passcode as well, because otherwise, be able to go and change the setting themselves. Then you'll need to go and enter your Apple ID um, just as a recovery. You'll now be taken just back to the screen time settings and don't worry, you can still go and make further changes. So you've got all these different options down here. Probably the main thing you wanna go and look at is the content and privacy restrictions. So tap here like so. Then as you can see, there are all these different sort of settings you can go and change. Let's go and look at the iTunes and App Store purchases. So when you tap there, you'll then need to go and enter the passcode that you just went and set up. So go and type that in here. Then what you can go and do is choose all these settings here, for example, store purchases and re-downloads. So you can go and stop um, your child from downloading new apps by pressing don't allow. And now that the child can't go and download new apps until that's go and set to allow, which you could go and do. So basically they'll need to go and ask you if they want to go and download an app. And yeah, you can go and look at the allowed apps and then the content restrictions as well. There's so many things you can go and customize here to go and make the iPhone or the iOS device just a safer place. So there we go, guys. I hope you did find this video useful. If you did, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.